So let me get this straight. Key cap puller of decent quality, braided cable, red kale switches, RGB illumination for $25. They must be out of their damn minds. Hey everyone, Steve here from Big Head Tech, and yes, that title is not clickbait. This was $25. We're looking at the Collider Mechanical Game Keyboard from Monoprice. Well, Dark Matter, but I got it from Monoprice. These are Kale Red Switches, RGB, Mechanical Keyboard, 25 bucks. What could go wrong? So, actuation point is two millimeters. Actuation force is 40 and, or 40 grams rather. Total travel distance is four millimeters. So it should connect halfway down. Take our handy dander screwdriver and get this open. Cause you know, box cutters are, they're too archaic for me. Okay. So we have, you know, your standard plastic or whatever. This is wrapped in. Nothing fancy, and comes with a key cap puller. So let me get this straight. Key cap puller of decent quality, braided cable, red kale switches, RGB illumination for $25, they must be out of their damn minds. Let's hear it. Let's see how quiet it is. So the actuation point, there's no bump. I did that intentionally because my microphone is picking up a lot of my keystrokes, my blue and my, my C key on my Red Dragon K series is no good. So let's look at construction here. Like very little flex. That is shocking. I mean, it's your standard 104 layout. You have these guys on the back here so you can, you know, tilt it up, no problem. You have rubberized grips so when it's on the ground, it's, <laughs> I'm moving the table. Like, here, let me, let's see if I can get a better shot here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab right here. Like, so if I really wanna, yeah, that's a Taylor here moving. Like, yeah, of course I'm pushing down a little bit, but this thing is not gonna, like if I were to push it. <laughs> so, so the downsides, um, it doesn't make you breakfast. So that's kind of a unfortunate thing. Probably no dinner either, but let's plug her in and see what she looks like. So as you can see here, it's currently going through all different kinds of cycles. So I must have broke it because it's working now. Function pause is changing colors. So I have it static. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's cycling through the colors. It's not, from my knowledge, moving through the colors. Yeah, it's staying the same. So let's see, long press, I think it's function escape. So let's do that for five seconds. Okay. Now I'll just reset everything. So and now it's on color cycle. Huh, okay, so basically what's probably gonna happen is once we get back to, well, let me see, function and pause, it's, it changes foreground color of current animation. Okay, so we're currently yellow. Has this been changing at all? So we'll keep this on green, but apparently that's how you do it. It's function pause. And anyway, so we'll take a keycap off. We'll take off K. 
So you can see here we have the actuation points about half, I would suspect. So let's actually take a look at, I like looking at the shift key. Ah, that's why my Discord keeps going off. <laughs> so I do like the fact there's no retention bracket. Those are annoying to deal with, but you can see here kind of has like a placeholder. And yes, I know. So what do I think of this keyboard? Well, I haven't used it much yet. It's heavy, which is good. It has everything you need. It's missing macro keys, which I kind of wanted, but I also just wanted a new keyboard that was cheap. That got the job done, something quieter. So here, here's the thing. It checks off every box. It has programmable RGB with all sorts of different fun things you can do with it. It's heavy, it has grips, it has tilt. It lacks a wrist rest, no doubt, but man, I have to say, that's a $50 keyboard that I bought for 25 bucks. Granted, it's from Mono Price, it was on sale, I get that. But that's one heck of a deal. It honestly is. It feels better than the keyboard I'm using, which is the Red Dragon, it's heavier. Now these are red switches, I used to have blue. I'm not really comparing those two by any means. But right now the time of feeling you can get the blue switch version for about $38. I'm not sure how big of a sale that is, but maybe I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check. Uh, if you do want to buy anything else, I'll put links. I do get a small kickback if it's from Amazon, so do keep that in mind. Like the video if you liked it, dislike or dislike, leave a comment, get subscribed. And as always, this is Steve from Big Head Tech, and I'll see you all later on down the road.